there. Just gotta get it nice and tight on there, okay? All right, guys. Yo, are you guys ready for your new freaking enclosure? Oh my God! Oh, Look how fast they are. Gianna versus Tyler. Terrible, right? Hey, don't you scrub me! Ah! Mm -mm. Good morning, everybody. Hello, cute babies. How are you guys doing over here? And everybody over here, how are you doing? All the birds. Brady, are you stuck over there, dude? I'll let you out. Hold on. How is it going, guys? You know the drill. Another beautiful day over here on Ryder's Ranch, baby. Sorry you guys didn't get a video over the weekend. I'm trying to get back to doing everything. It's just been real. I see that. Um, I see that every video. It's real busy over here. There's just so much freaking stuff to do. I started making a video the other day. Didn't finish it. Had a company come out, deliver a bunch of pea rocks. So I'm trying to get rid of the whole flooding issue over here on the chicken coop. We got a guy today delivering a bunch of railroad tracks. And I'm pretty much going to outline the whole outside of that chicken coop with railroad tracks. We're going to fill it up with that pea rock. And then we're gonna put a bunch of sand inside the chicken coop on top of the pea rock. So inside the chicken coop is gonna have a nice, a bunch of nice sand for them. And then outside is gonna be kind of built up with the pea rock in the, uh, in the railroad ties. Shut up! <sighs> but with that said, I have a lot to do today, which most importantly includes taking care of these two knuckleheads right here, which are doing absolutely great. And this is just the temporary setup that I have for them when I take them out in the morning and let them run around during the day. The main focus of today's video is building this bad boy that I started putting together last week with the boys. I got this big chicken run on Amazon. I think this thing is like 19 feet long, 20 feet long. It's got a door. This will be a way bigger area for the emus to hang out in for the time being. And then this is just the, uh, the chicken wire roll that we got here. It's just kind of, it's that like garden chicken wire stuff. It's not like super sturdy, but it is metal and this will be strong enough to keep those emus from getting out. Father's Day was super nice. Took the day off. We went to Will's house, took the girls over there, went in the pool, had a little barbecue. It was super, super nice couple days off, but it's time to get back to work because your boy is so overwhelmed with stuff to do here. It is freaking crazy. So before we get started on any of that stuff though, we got the guy delivering these railroad ties like I said then we're gonna make another separate video and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna kind of like flood proof this area all right so the boys are backing up the trailer right now and they're delivering these things there we go baby see we got 20 railroad ties right there oh yeah delivered to the house because your boy doesn't have his truck still all right well before Gianna helps me out with uh Chickens. Before Gianna helps me out with the uh, emu enclosure, we got a photo shoot because baby turned seven months old today. Let's go, baby. Cooperate. Let's go. Come on. It's okay. Don't grab the chicken. Okay. We're back doing this stupid extra large chicken coop thing. I got it on Amazon. I thought it was going to be a good idea at first, but honestly, guys, this thing is a piece of <laughs> Don't get it. I do not recommend it. Whoever tells you that these things are awesome they're worth the money dude this is like 300 bucks honestly i want to throw it away in the trash i just want to trash it and just who cares don't even get a refund throw it away demolish it get some anger out you know just, just break it you know it's garbage it's crap what do you think that's funny gianna's getting hurt not because of me because of the stupid coop <sighs> we're working on it it's getting there we got to take the chicken wire Roll it over the whole freaking thing. I hate this. We need like 10 more people. So you guys want to come over and help us right now? Let's go. So yeah, this stuff is just like that really thin crap, but whatever. I'm just going to take a million zip ties and zip tie the living bejesus out of it. All right. So that way it's super, super tight, but we're getting there and you can see the size of it compared to Gianna right here. It is pretty big. These birds should be able to stick in it. So hopefully this is gonna buy us another three or four months. So that way we have time to dig the pond for the ducks and the geese and all that stuff. And then I have to obviously put a nice game fence up to keep the emus inside of it. So the emus are gonna be in the cow area, goat area, chicken area, you know what I mean? They're gonna be over there for now. Hopefully everybody gets along. They don't get along, 
They will be getting their own area and we will address that when we cross that bridge, I guess. I don't freaking know. We're just doing things how we do things over here. You know what I mean? Being out of zip ties, we are taking a tractor supply break. We need to go over there and grab some things. I was figuring since tractor supply sells like these dog houses, they sell like these little, you know, the igloo dog house things. Pick up one of those things. So that way they have like a nice little shelter area at night that they can actually go inside like a little emu hut slash house thing. Hello, Gary. How are you? How are you doing over there, Otis? Are you hot? It's nice and breezy out at least today, so they're not really super hot, but I can't wait to get these guys in their new little enclosure. Hi, dude. Gary, you're so cool. They're getting huge too. Like these guys are just growing like weeds. And obviously do not forget guys, this month on the 25th, which is this coming Sunday, okay? That is when we will be announcing the winners for the raffle. So if you have not entered the raffle already, there's two ways you can do it. You can go buy a t-shirt, which gives you two entries, or you could just go buy individual tickets or 25 bucks each. Really appreciate it, guys. These raffles are really fun. It's a great way for me to provide funds to have you guys come down here, hang out with us, give you a full day tattoo. And then whatever we make off of the raffle too is just goes towards building up the property. We need to get the fence built. We got a lot of other things to build over here. So you guys are just really helping contributing to Riders Ranch, which I greatly, greatly appreciate each and every one of you for. So please go on my website, tattoos.com go get a raffle ticket, and I will see you guys in December. It's gonna be super fun. Hi, baby. Isn't so cute? Are you ready to go to Tractor Supply? Are you ready? We're gonna go for a little trip. Do you yes. want to take the Let's go. out? And then I'm just gonna tush babies. Not really in my room. Yeah, well, look what we got today, too. Look at this thing. Woo! Look at that! Now we can do farm chores with the baby. So tight. <laughs> oh, you are the happiest <laughs> baby ever. <laughs> and we're back. Got more zippy ties from Tractor Supply. And look, the baby got hooked up too. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. Yo, this freaking wagon from Jeep. Not sponsored or anything. I paid full price for this on Amazon. No hookups, but it is awesome. Hello, beautiful baby. Do you love that? Yes, you do. You little teething monster. Yeah. So cute. This thing is so cool. Picked that up just because, you know, easier. Put the baby in the wag. That way we could bring her around the property when we're doing things. Farm chores with the baby. Perfect. Get in there, get in there. Just gotta get it nice and tight on there, okay? You got it? Cheers. Nice and tight like. Oh, hey. Are you supervising over there? You making sure mommy's doing a good job? Okay. <laughs> so cute. Taking a break, my buddy Joe just got here with the new quail coop that he built. Check this thing out. Ooh, look at this thing. That thing is sick. Shit, this is gonna be perfect. Look at that thing. So tight. Just look at it. Yo, so check this out, guys. This has all his information. Check him out. Coops by Joe on Facebook, Instagram, and everything. Phone number right down here. You guys are in the South Florida area. Hit him up. He is the freaking best. And we're going to be making a whole bunch of cages together for everything over here. So stay tuned. Aww. Cool, right? Yeah, Hell yeah. That I thing looks great. Yeah, we'll put some branches in there. We'll get them all set up and out of this stupid thing because they're just, yeah, not really working out. This is going to be so much better for them. After we're done with this thing, which is very, very shortly, we will be done. We're going to move it over, put the emus in there, and then set up the quail in this new enclosure. And then it'll be a wrap for the video. Holy mother of zip ties. I never want to zip another zip tie. But... As much as I doubted this thing at first, even though it is still, there's still some play in it. I made it as tight as we possibly can. This has a little bit of play too, but dude, this is just temporary, just to give them a safe place to hang out during the day and to sleep in at night. We went over to Tractor Supply and I tried checking out those dog houses that they have and they're like 200 plus dollars, like two, 300 bucks. So ain't really worth it. That's pretty expensive for a dog house. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build my own. I got plenty of extra wood. So we're just gonna build like a little tiny hideout for them that they can go into at night and feel super secure. And that's pretty much it. We're gonna move this 
over to the area. We're gonna get their little temporary area out, let them run around the yard for a second while we position this new enclosure for them. And then, yeah, guys, we're pretty much, pretty much getting there, baby. I'm stoked to see how they react to this thing. Hopefully they don't run into the sides. They might run into the sides at first, just because they're just like, it's really hard to see and they're kind of crazy and spastic and just run everywhere. So we're gonna see how they react to this, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna work out pretty freaking well. All right, guys. Yo, are you guys ready for your new freaking enclosure? You ready for more room to run around? Oh, I think you are. Let's get this whole thing discombobulated, all right? Let's release the beast. Here you go, guys. Run free. Run free, my guys. Oh my god. Oh. Free creatures. They love it. They love it. Hi, Barry. Oh god, they're so cool. Otis. Hi. Hi, guys. Come here. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh my god. <laughs> Gary. There is no way in hell I'm going to be able to catch that. Come here, Gary. Hi. Come here! Gary! Wow. They are fast. Oh my god, they love it. Look, Maybe a chicken. Look how fast they are! Hey, Yo! Yo, you guys are on the gas, dude! Yeah. Hey, Gary! Hey, dude! Hi! Hey, puppies! <laughs> oh! Hey! Oh, dude! Yo, yo, you guys are crazy. Otis. Hi, Otis. How are you doing? You pooping, dude? Ew, gross. You sickos. Not bad. That's a good size. It's perfect. All right, so let's finish this thing up over here. Yo, we got to storm rolling through here and sky's about to open up y'all good thing we're uh fixing our flooding situation straight little dinosaurs i love them so cool look at that gianna just corralled them she's so good at you're so good at corralling animals into things oh careful see like i said they're gonna probably run into the sides a couple times until they figure out that there's this mesh right here but dude Compared to this little tiny area that they had, this is obviously just their little play area when they were babies just growing up and obviously they are still babies. These birds are gonna get six feet tall, but this is gonna be a great new area for them for at least a little bit. That way they can hang out in here while we're inside doing our thing and then we're still gonna open up the door and just let them run around throughout the day like you guys just saw. But dude, way better. Now I gotta put that rain. I gotta. I got like this tarp to put over the top. I'm gonna do that right now. Shelter them from this freaking big old storm coming. Look at this. Oh, it's getting windy. Birds, you guys better go hide, man. You're gonna fly away. That would be tragic. Terrible, right? Hey, don't you scrub me. Ah! Dude, this looks awesome. She's giving them some fresh water. I'm gonna go get them some fresh food. We're just getting this situated for the rain. And then I gotta go do the quail. I might be taking care of these quail by myself in the rain because we got a crying baby on our hands right now. All right, let's see how you do it. Gianna versus yeah, Tyler. Keep moving this way. Come on, keep going. Oh, oh, oh. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me, hey. Oh, God. Killed it. It's a workout, huh? They're fast. These things are freaking fast, man. I think they run like 35 miles an hour, which is insane quick. What do you got here? Ew. Gross. Farm stuff, super fun. Enjoy. Oh, and you're off. How you doing? You like your new spot? I like it. Hell yeah. Very cool. Huh? 
Yeah, so that'll work for now. We got a little tarp over there, protecting from the rain and stuff. Should be good. We're just gonna use some little ties, tie this until I get a better latch, because the latch that came with this thing is garbage, people. Like I said before, me and G are gonna spruce this thing up. We're gonna put some branches in it, we're gonna put a dust bath in there, and then another lay box too. But for right now, for sake of time, because we're about to get rained out, the heavens are about to just unleash. It's about the freaking hurricane over here. So, I just want to get this done for now and just get these birds in their new cage just for the time being. So we're just going to go ahead and grab all of them up. Go ahead and chase them all into here, close up that little door, make my life a little easier. And I'm going one by one just to grab these guys and I got to keep in mind, they fly. And last time that I did this, relax. Hey, 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 jeez. Would you chill? They're so freaking squirrely. Last time I did this and moved them over, Richard got a hold of one of them. And you guys know the rest of the story for that. Now they're on they're on wire mesh, which is great because they could just poop through the bottom and it'll just go on the floor. That way I don't have to worry about changing out their bedding every other day, seeing how these guys would like to keep it extra, extra clean. Because these are the ones that I have breeding for eggs. That way I can feed the eggs to the monitors. Hey! Booyah, this thing is great though. Joe, thank you so much, bro. This thing is a game changer. It is freaking awesome. Got a nice aluminum top here. Dude, Joe has attention to detail. Everything is just done so streamlined. It looks super clean. So that's it, guys. It's about to storm here like freaking crazy. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this new emu upgrade setup. I love it. They love it. So awesome. Now they'll at least be able to stay in there for the next two to three, maybe even four months. They're going to be gigantic birds. Keeping them in there will give me plenty of time to get that whole other bird area situated, start the pond, build the game fence. Then we can move the emus in there when they're a little bit older and everything will be perfect. Coops by Joe on Facebook, guys, and on OfferUp. If you go on OfferUp and you search up West Palm Area Chicken Coops, he's on there and on Facebook. Hit him up. Anybody in Florida, Joe does the best chicken coops. The cleanest builder around here I've seen. I can't wait to work with him, too. We're going to build some crazy stuff, so stay tuned for all of that. TylenolandTattoos.com for your raffle tickets. You can buy them separate. They're $25 each. Or you can go purchase one of our new shirts and you get two entries with it. So instead of buying a ticket, you buy a shirt, you get two entries. Or you can just buy a ticket. Whatever the heck you guys want to do, go do it. We're going to announce the winners on Sunday. We're going to do a live stream June 25th. Be there, all right? probably around around 10 11 in the morning something like that we got to get all the tickets ready and put it in a bucket and figure out how we're gonna call we're just gonna pick it out of a bucket make tickets put it in a bucket mix them up pick one right i feel like that's the most fair way to do it so all right i got a storm rolling through i gotta go help take care of the girls baby's crying sky's about to be crying too I'll see y'all. Oh, I got poop on me. I got to take a shower. I'll see y'all on the next one. Love you. Later. God bless. Follow your freaking dreams, people. Anything is possible, guys. You just got to work your ass off. Put your mind to it. Grind, baby. Go get it. See y'all on the next one. Love you. Bye.